too. Hi, this is Peter with SuperDeviceCISing.com. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use our do-it-yourself refill kit for Canon cartridges. Um, the cartridge I'm going to be refilling today is this yellow cartridge. Um, as you can see from this cartridge, there's no ink in this reservoir. Luckily, there's a see-through compartment, um, so we could uh, go ahead and tell how much ink is in there. Uh, so this is totally empty. Uh, the do-it-yourself kit comes with um, a little yellow cartridge full of ink and a sliding compartment. Um, uh, these two compartments and a, a little drill bit so you can drill a hole inside the cartridge. Uh, what you're going to go ahead and do is grab this compartment. This compartment has nothing in there. This is to hold down the cartridge and you could drill down, um, drill a hole into the cartridge so you can start refilling it. And this has a little needle. This will be used later on. What you're going to do is get your cartridge and go ahead and pop it into the little holder. And there's a little, little plastic piece right here that will hold it down but basically once you get this thing in here it will snap into place and lock into place once that's locked into place you're going to go ahead and get your drill bit and you're going to go ahead and insert it into this hole and once you insert it into this hole you're going to go ahead and turn uh, clockwise and you're going to start drilling a hole into this part of the cartridge right here so just go ahead and do that slowly well you know Apply pressure, but not too much pressure because you could break the bit off of it, but, you know, enough to go ahead and drill a hole inside the cartridge. Once, once it goes down to a certain point, it won't go any further. Go ahead and uh, turn it counterclockwise, take the drill bit out, and the hole's been already drilled into it. So what you're going to go ahead and do now is grab the other sliding compartment and slide this piece down. This will insert the long needle inside the cartridge so you can start refilling it. Push that down to it locks into place. Then grab uh, your ink and what you're going to go ahead and do is put it back into this hole right here which is the same, um, same hole that we used to drill the, the cartridge with and then pop this thing in. There's a little plastic seal right here that's going to go ahead and puncture a hole into it but make sure you hold it tight and pop it in. Once it pops in what you're going to go ahead and do is press on the, the top of this um, the ink refiller and it's going to go ahead and snap like that. So once it snaps you let go and the cartridge is going to start refilling by itself as you can see from the bottom of here. If I hold it right here you'll start you'll see that it's starting to refill. Give it a couple moments because it's mainly gravity fed and it's going to go ahead and fill up the cartridge. Make sure you hold these two pieces together so no ink leaks out or anything. See, as you can tell from the cartridge, it's starting to fill up all the way. These little ink containers contain uh, the perfect amount of ink to go ahead and refill these cartridges so you don't have to measure anything or anything of that sort. As you see, m most of the ink in the little ink canister, it's depleted. Once you see if it's depleted all the way, just shake it a little bit, get, get the rest of the ink in there. But basically, once it's all the way in, go ahead and remove this out, ink container out, sit upside down on the side, slide this compartment back out, set this to the side, and pop your cartridge back out. As you can see the ink has been filled in. The little hole that we drilled is right here on the side. No ink is going to really fall out of there. As you can see. And your cartridge is good to go. You go ahead and repeat this procedure for the rest of your cartridges. Uh, we went ahead and uh, did the Scion and the Magenta already. And that's pretty much it. Uh, any questions, feel free to give a cu our customer service reps a call and we'll be more than happy to assist you.